So our Bible reading this week picks up in Luke chapter 24. We're at the very last chapter the in Luke's, Luke. yeah, in, in Luke's gospel. And so in 23, we read about the death of Jesus. And now 24, as we would expect, the big idea is going to be is going to be Jesus' resurrection, uh, or perhaps the best way to say it, Luke's unique record right. of Jesus' resurrection. Right. And so, and so, as we structure the chapter, uh, after telling the story of him being raised in the right. first twelve verses, those will be verses one to twelve, one to twelve for you. The next thing we have, Jeff, that's really interesting, is this lengthy encounter between Jesus. And the man on the road, uh, the man on the road to Emmaus, one of whose names we actually know. Right. Uh, and, and, and that points up the point I was just making about this is Luke's unique account because we right. don't have that in the other records. No, no, this story is only found in Luke chapter 24. And it's a long one, actually. I mean, in one sense, it's, it's Luke's longest single story for Resurrection Sunday. Um, and, and so, you know, we want to ask, why is it here and what is it doing there for? Um, and it seems that, you know, a couple of things, you know, uh, are, are important. Number one is they don't recognize Jesus at first, this but they come to recognize. And so we've been playing with this whole the disciples don't get it motif throughout the gospel, right? And so I think part of what's going on here is he in both a, a sign act, the breaking of the bread, as well as in the discussion of scripture in which he opens to them, the, you know, verse 27, beginning with Moses and the prophets, he interpreted to them in the scriptures the thing concerning himself. It's like literally Jesus himself after the resurrection is now able with that event to begin to help his disciples understand, you know, really this was foretold, this is exactly according to God's plan, and now they are able to truly begin to see him correctly. That's that whole, they don't recognize him, now they do recognize him. Um, now, finally, the disciples, because of the crucifixion and resurrection, can see Jesus correctly, truly. I, I almost think 27 begins to give us those threads in the ta tapestry that are going to take us over into the book of Acts, That's which right. is the next yeah. volume, because that is the story. This is the record, and it's right. such an interesting contrast between the disciples that up to now, even in the very in the very shadow of the cross, aren't getting it, still don't right. see it, right. and now their eyes are open. They're right. not blind anymore, no. and they're going to see how the whole story knits together. So we have that lengthy account of that, and then and then we have the appearances that Jesus begins to make, which are which, also unique. They're unique, and yeah. they're really important right. as moving forward, they validate uh, that he really was risen from the dead. This wasn't just a right. a report that begins right. to circulate or a rumor that was started. People began to talk about him being risen because he began to appear to people. They began right. to see him and 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 emphasize that you know he was not a ghost or a spirit or a hallucination. I, I thought mean, that was interesting too. You know that paragraph there, verse starting verse thirty six and following. You know he asks them for something to eat, not because he's hungry. But to show them, you know, that 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 I'm really here, um, a ghost or a spirit wouldn't have, you know, be able to handle food and, and be touched the way he is. He has truly come back from the dead. Yeah, and so and that connects back to something we were saying last week about uh, the details, uh, for example, right. surrounding his death. Right. Uh, there's great evidentiary value in what is included in the text here, and particularly as we get to the resurrection. And, and we know he is alive because he is seen, not just right. because the record says, well, he rose, yes, and then people saw him right. and people handled him and touched him. They saw his wounds. And right. so as, as each detail is supplied by the Spirit here, we just add another little piece of evidence to that case, right. uh, making it overwhelming that Jesus certainly physically appeared again right. after dying. He certainly was raised from the dead. That's right. So then we have the closing piece in verse 50. Uh, maybe it would be better to, to describe this not just as the closing piece, but as the connecting yeah. piece, because we think of Luke and Acts as separated by John. And the truth is, uh, it's really one volume broken into two parts right and it seems like these last four verses are the uh the connecting piece or maybe a better way to say it, is the overlap between luke and right. acts you think yes i mean that's the thing because at the end of the day you have this little you know what maybe maybe three four verse snippet of the ascension 
And yet in Acts chapter 1, the way the book of Acts opens, it elaborates on that scene that's reported here in just a couple of sentences at the end of Luke. So it's almost like one of those movies you watch sometimes, right, where, the, where, where one movie ends with what's going to turn out to be the opening scene of the sequel. And that's almost the way Luke and Acts kind of kind of fit together here. He ascends at the end of Luke, but what was really that, that ascension event like? And that's where Acts chapter 1 picks up and actually uh, elaborates that event. And why am I thinking of Back to the Future when you say that? <laughs> I think that's how all three of the movies begin right. and end, with, 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 with the next piece right. being set up. And that's what we have going on here. So, yeah. so uh, the reading this week is Luke 24. Let me urge you to read that and think about how vital this event is. Everything Christianity hangs on, uh, the validity of his resurrection from the dead. So this is the account. Watch those details. Watch the case put together by the Holy Spirit that that historical events truly took place and validates Christianity forever.